द क्वेश्चन इफ द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू पॉइंट्स ए पी जीरो एंड बी जीरो पी एस टेन फाइंड द पॉसिबल वैल्यूज ऑफ पी दिस क्वेश्चन कैन बी आज इन अ डिफरेंट वे यू कैन आई दी आज टू फाइंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू कॉर्डिनेट्स एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो आज टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ सम अन नोन एंड द डिस्टेंस इज गिवन टू यू Uh, as we discussed earlier in our previous video that we can use gradient to find the unknown coordinates we can use the distance formula as well to find the value of an unknown coordinate as well so this is an example in front of us and uh, we have our distance formula our length formula is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square i have my first point as a so i will write the value of a p 0 and i will label it as x1 and y1 and i have my second coordinate b and 0 and p is the value of abscissa and ordinate so i will label it as x2 and y2 the value of x is also called abscissa and the value of y is also called ordinate uh, so i have labeled my first and the second point and the distance is 10 so i will directly use this formula and i will put the values Uh, i will write 10 in place of distance i will not write the formula because the formula is over here you can see it uh, so i am just directly substituting the values i have substituted 10 because the distance is 10 length or distance is 10 in this question uh, x2 x2 is equals to 0 so i will write 0 i will use a small bracket 0 this negative sign after 0 and x1 the value of x1 is p so i will write p and then bracket close and a whole square then a positive sign and again y2 the value of y2 is p so i will write p first then use a negative sign and then y1 the value of y1 is 0 so i will write 0 and then a whole square so now 10 is equals to square root of 0 minus p is minus p and the minus p square is p square plus sign and then p minus 0 is again p and square of p is p square so 10 will be equals to square root of p square plus p square 1 p square uh, plus 1 p square equals to 2 p square so i have a square root sign over here and i know that the inverse of square root is square so i will take square on both the sides i will take square on both the sides and i am writing it over here i am taking square on both sides because i know that in order to remove this square root sign i have to take square because square root and square both are inverse of each other uh, 10 square and i will use a bracket then 2 p square and i will make square this square will cancel this square root and the square of 10 is equals to 100 equals to 2 p square since the square root sign has been cancelled this 2 is being multiplied on this side when it will get on the other side it will get divided so p square will be equals to 2 divided by 100 is 50 and p is equals to square root of 50 which is equals to plus minus 7.07 because whenever a number whenever something comes out of a square root it has a positive and a negative sign because plus plus is also plus and minus minus is also plus so i have to write this plus and negative sign with 7.07 Zero seven. So the required answer, the value of p is plus minus. Since the question is asking find the possible values, so there are more than one value. So I have to write this plus and minus sign with seven point zero seven.